everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Krista and I'm an educator with Discovery Place. Today we're taking a closer look at the moon from right here at home. Now, have you ever noticed that the moon looks different at different times of the month? Sometimes you can even see the moon out during the day. That's because the moon is always orbiting or circling around the Earth. Now, the moon's surface is covered in highly reflective dust. It's kind of like a great big mirror in the sky. It takes light that's shining from the sun and reflects it back in that same direction. But because the moon is always going around the Earth, from where we are, we can't always see all of the light that's being reflected. That's what gives us moon phases. Now to take a closer look at this cycle the moon goes through, we're gonna make our own moon dust and then go through the phases together. Now with parent support, this activity is great for little ones, as well as anyone who is curious about moon dust or about the phases of the moon. All right, now let's go over the supplies that we're gonna need for this activity. The first thing we need is a round pan. You can use a pie tin, or I'm using a plastic pizza pan here. The next thing you'll need is a large mixing bowl, some oil, flour, a couple of measuring cups. You're gonna need a one cup measuring cup as well as a one quarter cup measuring cup. You can also add some glitter to this recipe if you would like to. I like adding the glitter because it makes it a little bit shiny, which reminds me that the moon is reflecting light off of the sun. Now that we have all of our materials, it's time to make our moon dust. We're gonna start by adding two cups of flour to our mixing bowl. This is a great opportunity to practice fine motor skills with little ones and to work on measuring. Anytime you're using flour, things can get messy fast. So you'll wanna work somewhere that is easy to clean. Once you've got your flour, then you're gonna add some of your oil. This amount might differ depending on which type of oil you're using, so I suggest starting with a quarter cup of oil, mixing, and then adding more as you need. Like I said, I'm using vegetable oil, but baby oil is nice too because it gives your moon dust a nice calming scent. Now comes the best part, time to mix. We're gonna gently mix using our hands. We're looking for a consistency that will stick together without leaving our hands oily. Actual dust from the moon is very sticky, so we're recreating that here. If it's not quite holding together, you're gonna to add more oil until it feels just right. You wanna be able to squeeze the moon dust together in your hand and have it hold its shape. Last, we're gonna add some glitter and finish mixing. As I said, if your child has a habit of putting things in their mouth, I suggest leaving out the glitter to be on the safe side. All right, now we've got our moon dust. The next thing we're gonna do is talk about the phases of the moon. Now it takes about one month for the moon to go around the earth one time. Scientists have divided this orbit up into eight main phases or stages, and the moon looks a little bit different at each phase. Now the coolest thing about the phases is that they are a cycle. So for us here on earth, we'll see the moon go through all eight phases, and then once it completes all eight, it starts the whole thing over again. We'll start with my favorite phase, a full moon. We're going to spread some of our moon dust into our round pan. For a full moon, we can see the entire side of the moon that faces us. The same side of the moon that is facing us is also facing the sun. This gives us a circle in the sky, so we'll fill up the entire pan with moon dust. So as the moon moves a little bit further in its cycle, we're moving into the next phase, which is a waning gibbous. As the parts of the moon that we can see reflecting light get smaller, we call these phases waning. As they get bigger later in the cycle, we'll call those phases waxing. A good way to remember the difference is wax on, wane off, just like the famous line in Karate Kid. Remember, we're in the wane off phases, so we're going to clear away a little bit of moon dust. When the moon is almost full but not quite, this phase is called a gibbous, so we've got a waning gibbous. Next, the moon has moved a quarter or one fourth of the way through its cycle since we started. This phase is called a quarter moon. Scientists call this the third quarter. It looks like half of the moon is lit up and half is completely dark. After that, the part of the moon we can see reflecting light keeps getting smaller and smaller, and now it's almost gone. We're going to move some of our moon dust back into the mixing bowl for this phase, a waning crescent. It's a delicious little crescent roll in the sky. The next phase is a special one. The sun is facing one side of the moon, but we're facing the other. This means we can't see any light reflecting off of the moon. 
it looks like it disappeared. This phase is called a new moon. Now as the moon keeps moving, we'll see more and more of the part that's reflecting light. It starts off small. Remember, wax on, wane off. Are we waning off or are we waxing on now? We're getting bigger, so we're waxing on. We have a waxing crescent. Next up is another quarter moon. The half that's lit up now is the opposite from what we saw before. Do you know why? It's because the moon is on the opposite side of the Earth. This phase is the first quarter. It's the first quarter moon after the new moon. Then we're almost at a full moon, but not quite, and we're still waxing on. So we've got a waxing gibbous. Do you know what phase is next? We'll use our moon dust to fill up the entire pan again because we're back at the full moon. You did it. You've gone through all eight phases of the moon. If you want to explore more about the moon, you can build a lunar rover to travel across your moon dust, research solar and lunar eclipses, or even dive into NASA's findings about what actual moon dust smells, feels, and even tastes like. When you're all done with your moon dust, you can put it back in the mixing bowl, cover it in plastic wrap, and put it in the fridge until the next day. Thank you so much for joining me, and happy exploring!